In this video, I'm going to go through a simple proof by contradiction question. And the basic idea of this is to take some conclusion that we want. We want to, for example here, prove that root 2 is irrational. And the idea is to assume the opposite and show that that isn't correct. We want to assume uh, the, the, the negation, which is another word for the opposite, of our conclusion, show that that isn't actually correct or show that it is false so that we can say our original conclusion must be true. Okay, so that's the basic idea of proving something by contradiction. Okay, so let's go through the steps. If we want to prove that root two is irrational, let's take the opposite stance here. Let's start with the opposite of the conclusion. Let's assume root two is rational. Now, if root two is rational, well, what's a rational number? A rational number is something that can be expressed as a fraction, let's say a over b, and root two is clearly a positive number here. So we are going to say that a over b, uh, where a and b are both positive integers, and the a and b are in, uh, they have no common factors. This is in its most simple form. Okay, so this is assuming that root two is irrational by expressing it as a over b. And it's very important here that a and b uh, must have no common factors. Okay, so what we can do is square both sides. And therefore we will get two is equal to a squared over b squared. I can multiply both sides by b squared. And therefore I'll be left with a squared equaling two times b squared. Now at this step here, we can say, well, if a squared is equal to two times b squared, well then clearly a squared is even because two times anything will give us an even number. So therefore we can say a squared is even. And if we know that a squared is even, what we therefore know is that a must be even. And you can confirm that if any squared number is even, the square root of that, uh, the square root of that number will also be even. So we have concluded here that a must be even as well. So if we know that a is even, we can say that a is equal to two times k. Now I've just introduced k here as a variable, but if k is any positive integer, well two times k will represent any even number. Okay, so a can be expressed as two times k. And what we can therefore do is rewrite this one here and say, well, two b squared is equal to a squared, and I'm going to replace a with two k, because I know that a is an even number. So therefore, this becomes 4k squared. So if 2b squared is equal to 4k squared, and if we divide both sides by 2, I'll get b squared is equal to 2 times k squared. And likewise, we had up here, if b squared is equal to 2 times something, we know that b squared is therefore even, and using the same uh, technique as above, therefore b must also be even. Okay, now if we know that A is even and B uh, is even, well, this is a contradiction. This is the key part here. This is a contradiction as A and B uh, cannot uh, have any common factors. And if they're both even, they're both divisible by two. Okay, so we have uh, proven this, that this is a contradiction. That A and B have no common factors. So what we can say is thus, our original uh, supposition is false. This is our original assumption and what we can therefore conclude is that root two is in fact irrational. Okay, so this is our, these are our steps here for a proof by contradiction question.